Texas, there's a housing boom. Whole neighborhoods are being rebuilt. And Wheeler dealers Lock it in. are scooping up the old houses Coming up. before they're torn down and moving them out to remodel and flip for profit. It's a risky business. Now what? But here in Longhorn country, there are a bunch of companies competing for the cash. There. You can donut? Looks like a little bit of brick veneer going on. May get closer and find out that's just a facade. But I we'll think it is out. a facade. Do you? Yeah. Brick wainscoat there. I mean, think of what we could do with the size of this house. Yeah, but not going to the moving yard. Not that length and width. So we know at this point we're going to have to leave some of the house here. Yeah. Okay, so we're dealing with the double car garage here. I don't know about this one. Main house, Adam, Adam, and Adam. Holy guacamole. Someone could come in and take this center part and just chunk that in the house part. Move that in one load. Hmm. I sort of like that color. The roof looks like in pretty good shape. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. So what do you think so far? You mean about all the add-ons? Yeah, we can just whack that off right there and mm -hmm. take that portion of the house. Hey, that's what I was saying. Did you get my idea? Oh, great minds think alike. That's right. That's what you call it these days. So where are we going to land money-wise? We're I'm not knowing like... what is going to have to stay behind and what square footage we're going to end up with. I'm thinking we're going to be safe at like four or five hundred bucks. No more than seven. Okay. Deal. Deal. Let's do it. All right, folks, it's auction time. Y'all just stay over there. That way when we win, y'all be that much closer to your car. Right, right. Oh. Woo. All right, let's get them started. Hundred dollars. Hundred. I'm going to give me hundred. Now hundred. Now hundred and half. Hundred and fifty dollars now. Half. It'll be two. 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 I'll take it. Two hundred and half. Now three. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Now be three. Now three fifty. Now four hundred. Now four and a half. Now five. Five hundred dollars. Now five. That'll give me five. Now five and a half. Six hundred. Do I have six hundred? Now six. Six. Now six and a half. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Now seven. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Six seventy five. Six seventy five. Why didn't I think of that? Now seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Now seven. Seven hundred. Now seven and a quarter. Seven hundred twenty five dollars. Now seven twenty five. I have sold it. Wow, I tell you. We had more. You know what? Oh, you had more. Yep. We should have jacked we it all up. We should have ran him up. Hey, you did. Hey, I'm glad you jacked him out today. Y'all be safe going home. Oh, yeah. See you later. Let's go check it out. You ready? As I'll ever be. Well, what's the front door? Uh, apparently this is. Holy moly. I like the double doors. Look. Hardwood. That's many, many, many. We have good bones here. Here's more hardwood, Casey. So this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. This is really tight, and I don't understand why. This is really tiny. However, it works. So far, we have one bedroom, a bathroom, and obviously a family room of some sort. This is a good size living room for That's sure. That's great. And, and the kitchen. And it's a great size. These cabinets have to go. The beadboard has to go. There's even a little fresh nook area. Bingo! Laundry room. Here's another bedroom. Casey, this is awesome. I mean, it needs a lot of, like, TLC. Roger Dodger. And there is a master bedroom. This is a three-bedroom house. When's the last time we landed in a three-bedroom house? It has its very own bathroom. Huge linen closet, huge shower. If this isn't a jackpot, ding, ding, I don't know what is. Casey and Katrina's jackpot of a house is huge. There are three big bedrooms, two bathrooms, a big kitchen, a big living room, and even a garage. But there is one teeny problem, moving it. This is a gold mine. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Katrina, I agree with you. However, this side of the house is going nowhere fast. You can't cut off the master bedroom. Cutting off the master bedroom is exactly what Casey wants to do. And the garage and half the kitchen and even the second bedroom. Okay, so you'll move it in two pieces. Negative. You can do it. We've done it before. By the time we cut this house in half, move both pieces, put them back together and remodel them, we're going to be in way over our heads. We ain't gonna make no money. It's gonna be still a good sized structure to work with. You know, I'll figure it out. 
Head south out of Fort Worth on Highway 35, and two and a half hours later, you'll be in Copperas Cove. It's a long way for the flippers to travel, but this 1,200-square-foot house could make the trip worthwhile. Today's my birthday. I might get lucky and get it, but it's got to be a good deal. We've got to be coming close to it. I know we are. This is the street, and it? it is. Okay. Such a long ways down here. I hope this is going to be worth my time. And speaking of, today's Randy's birthday. More than likely, he won't be at this office. That mm. makes a hell shape. It ain't gonna go down the road like that. Hey, it's kind of easy on the eyes. It is. They kind of took care of it. I think they did. Isn't it your birthday? It sure is. Is y'all gonna let me have best of the day? I mean, it is my birthday, right? I just assumed you weren't coming because it's your birthday. I figured I'd come out here and y'all wouldn't bid against me. Mm. So far, we've got a couple of trees. Something's got to be done about. Final sighting. Worst thing about final sighting, you don't know what's underneath. Exactly. It and can be a cover-up, or they can be preserving great lumber. We have a lot of rot under every window. That does not look like great lumber. I no do room. think it's probably... Seems to be nice. Hey, Pope. You're a little so late to the show, ain't you? Happy birthday, sir. Hey, thank oh, you very much. you remember, yeah. too. Oh. I get the front door, mm -hmm. and I get a back door. To the side door? So I wonder what that goes to. I don't know, things that make you go, hmm, hmm. Time is loaded. We're going to be about 18 feet. This is an old single-car garage. That's going to have to be cut off. 180 miles. 40 bucks a mile. If you're going a couple hundred miles, 30 feet wide, you're pushing the envelope. That's $7,200 right off the top. If you get it up there, this will turn into money. What do you think? What? Thousand? It's a little more than what I was thinking, but okay, thousand? it's around a thousand eleven hundred square feet ish, depending. And make it about around a dollar square foot then. Mm -hmm. And hey, if we can get it cheaper than that, let's do it. Hey, that'll be great. All right, I agree. All right. No more than a thousand. Gotcha. All righty, it's auction time. Money's yeah. You're all the to help this go. Let's and see where it goes. It's going to off at a hundred dollar opening bid. Yes. hundred dollar bid. Thank you. hundred dollar bid now. Two hundred dollar bid now. Three now. Three. Put it up now. Three. Three. Hundred dollar bid now. Four. Right. care of this home. Okay, we got it coming into the kitchen. Would you look at those cabinets? Look at the countertop. Oh, this is marble. It is. Look at this. A nice size utility. Room. It's huge. This is right cool. now, this... Oh, this goes... This was a, a garage. garage. It's probably going to have to be cut to move it. It's all well and good, but right now it's a headache. All right, let's see if there's any more issues within the house. This room looks great. Okay, it's a nice size room, big closet. There's not a whole lot to do in here. This is perfect. <laughs> the bathroom. Now look. That ah. matches the marble in the kitchen, it doesn't does. it? Yes. On countertops alone, we're probably looking 3,000. What do you got? Well, um, what is this? What's this supposed to be? It's a closet. It's got a back door to it, which technically looks like a front door. So I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about the floor plan. It's not flowing too much for me the way it is right now. Getting the floor plan to work will take some clever thinking because there's a small room between the two bedrooms that has its own back door. The converted garage looks like it hasn't been built strongly enough, so it'll probably have to go. But on the upside, there's profit to be made with a large utility room large kitchen, and large living room. You know, I'm kind of feeling bad. We stole this out from under Randy. Today's Randy's birthday. Do you feel bad? No. Casey and Katrina's house is being downsized from a three-bedroom mini mansion to the kind of house that can easily fit in the back of a truck. But now it's missing an entire wall. The house is having a pretty rough ride to the renovation lot. 
Waiting for the house to arrive is Katrina, and she's been doing some thinking. I'm a little nervous on this house, to be honest with you, about where we are budget-wise. Why didn't we talk about this before we bought the thing? We did, but I thought we had a lot more house when we were buying it, remember? Yeah, we kind of left half of it behind. Yeah. All right. So are we keeping the double doors? Absolutely. I think so, too. Oh! Whoops. New door. New door. What yeah. is that? I was doing demo while I was moving. The way I see it, that shaky move saved us half of the demo work. So my part of the demo is done. Thank you very much. Nice try, Casey. Nice try. Okay, so let's uh, back on back on track. I'm thinking that we take this wall here and completely remove it. All the way. Open it up as far as we can. So now you've got a place to put a few bar stools and it opens it up. It makes it a lot bigger. Cool. Once we build in this wall that you've cut down, mm -hmm. obviously in here, kind of the bare bones, new cabinets, tiles gotta go. We need new tile. You don't think that'll buff? That will not buff. <laughs> not in my world. This hallway makes no sense. Absolutely not. It's tiny and it's awful. So what we're gonna do, if you come here and take a look, we are going to take this teensy tiny bathroom and extend it all the way out in that hallway. We're gonna get a new bathtub, we're gonna get a new toilet, and since we're getting so much space, I want a really nice, big vanity that can even be kind of the focal point of the bathroom. How about I can build something very inexpensive, something custom, and save a bunch of money? Okay, I like that. You're hired. I'm hired. So by removing all of this funkiness and having a door, essentially this will be your door that goes back into your bedroom. The house Casey and Katrina are left with is 850 square feet. Katrina's plan is to close off the kitchen's outside wall and turn the internal wall into a breakfast bar. The bathroom will then be extended into the hallway, and what will be left is a very neat one-bedroom house. It's demo time, and anything that can't be reused will head to the dump. Including those double doors, which will have to be replaced with new. Donna and Tony's house is getting set for its move. The converted garage is coming off. And once that's done, the house can hit the road. It's a long trip, 150 miles. But by the end of the day, the house is on the lot, and so are Donna and Tony. All right, so we lost the end of the room, which was the end was of the garage. Set down. Right, so we need to take that into account whenever we're trying to reconfigure everything. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look inside. All right, here we go. This is bigger, mm. actually, than I remember, which yes. is going to work great for our whole concept. I agree. Starter home for a family. Mm. The cabinets, we agreed, were really good shape. Yes, we're going to keep those. Yes, except these right here. That, uh, that Those uppers, because that wall's coming out. Right. All right, so now when we move into here, now this is going... This is going, and actually, from here up, up is, yes, because we're building a pony wall. Right. We really didn't lose all the garage. No. We're, we're going to have a scenario We're here. reworking what we're going to use it for. So we're going to turn it into the dining room. So we got the bathroom. I think this is too big for this narrow bathroom. I think we need to cut off at least two foot. And yes. it'll make yeah. the room bigger. I agree. It'll make the room bigger. All right. This is going to be the kids' room, right? Mm -hmm. We lucked out with this one. All the rooms are nice yes. and big. The next room is the strange room. Definitely. This is too small to be a bedroom, so that's why we're going to make it our playroom. A playroom. I'm fixing to tell you a plan that's going to sell this entire house. You ready? Yeah. You tell ready. me what your idea is. You're, you're ready. Yeah. Come on now. Okay. And to tell you a plan that's going to sell this entire house. You ready? Yeah. You're tell ready. me what your idea is. You're, you're ready. Yeah. Come on now. Okay. So, what's going to be on that other side of that wall in the children's room? There's going to be a bookcase. What if the bookcase was a secret passage that opened up and came into the playroom? That would be cool. Oh, those kids will love that. As a kid, I have always wanted a secret passageway. Now we get to build one. I'm telling you right now, we're going to have buyers fighting over this house. Donna's idea is to take out a wall and two closets and replace it with a new wall that has a hidden door into what will now be a playroom. What was the old garage will be rebuilt into a new dining area, opening through a breakfast bar into the kitchen. To make Donna's secret door, the wall between the bedroom and playroom has to come down. 
Also coming down are the upper cabinets and walls in the kitchen. The marble countertops will stay where they are, but the countertop in the bathroom needs to be moved. Once the bathroom's been finished, it'll be brought back and reused. Or at least that was the plan. For crying in a bucket. Ugh. Tony! Yeah, come here. Do I want to? Probably not. What happened? What did you do? Me? Well, you were the I... first one in here. Now, well, there's been a lot of people in and out, and, I, and I'm sure it was an accident. I, I know nobody would have done it on purpose. We're going to have to go countertop shopping. New countertops will sting the budget, but that's not the end of the hurt. Tony, yeah, you know that old saying, don't judge a book by its cover? I'm looking at this wiring. We've got new wiring, and then if you look up there, we've got old cloth wiring. Mm -hmm. That means it's got to all come out and be redone. Oh my gosh, this this just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. Wow. And this was not what we were expecting. The plan had been to replace just a few sheets of drywall. But now the house needs to be rewired. Every single sheet of drywall has to come down. Casey and Katrina's house has also been gutted. Up go new walls on the inside and then on the outside, where Casey had to cut the house in two. Are we flush over there? Yep. You take time. You put precision into your nail driving. My turn? Your turn. All right. Okay. So this dude's coming together nicely, isn't it? It is. I mean, I have to admit. Oh, I can't wait. Because I know what you're going to say. It makes complete sense now. Well, that, and hey, that was the original footprint of this house. Everything else was added on. It was done wrong. It's just terrible. Jimmy. I think I was just so caught up in leaving so much behind. There was no better way to do it. I think you were dead on. Music to my ears. Don and Tony's dream of a quick flip is slowly turning into a nightmare. But a new floor is helping create a whole new room. This does not even look like the same area. Mm -hmm. This room has become our bonus room. We'll make it into a dining area. This is stroke of genius. Finally, something good. Something good in the flipping business never lasts long. And sure enough, on the very next day, it all turns bad. Golly. Hey, Tony, we got a problem. What's wrong? Look at these two front windows. Oh, no. Hey, Tony. Yeah? We got a problem. What's wrong? Look at these two front windows. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Yeah, and they're broke. Oh, no. And by looking at it, they do not look like a standard three by five. A standard window is three foot by five foot. A non-standard window calls for a custom job. That ain't cheap and that ain't easy. Okay, three. Oh, it looks like a three by five. Oh, it's not. It's not. And that means it's a custom window. Okay. This is on the front of the house. It's got to look nice. So it would really be better just to replace them with new ones then. I just got to add it to the list now. Right. More money. More money going out means less profit coming in. Siding around the new dining room is costing the sisters 1400 bucks, And a new roof? That's costing them 2200 Casey and Katrina's one-bedroom house is being smartened up with a gray exterior and white trim. On the inside, the drywall is going up, and as soon as that's finished, Casey and Katrina can position the kitchen cabinets. Thank you. The interior color scheme is as contemporary and neutral as the outside. A combination of gray on the walls and glossy white on the trim. With all those shiny white cabinets, Katrina's come up with a plan to make the kitchen pop. So here's what I'm thinking. There's a guy locally that takes mesquite wood and builds custom tables, countertops. What we do is he actually takes a raw piece of mesquite, okay. planes it out, seals it, polishes it, pristine. Black and white. Unbelievably gorgeous. You're going to see it as soon as you walk in that front door. And it's really going to kind of set everything. I love it. Perfect. A mesquite breakfast bar will certainly make the kitchen stand out. All Casey needs to do is choose the right piece. There's two things about mesquite. It cracks and it's heavy. It's like concrete. Like a real dense. Yeah, so this one's definitely not going to be usable. Okay. 
And I actually think this right here's got, got a little more character to it. It's mm -hmm. gonna look a little better because it's it's not as clean. Yeah. Drained, yeah. A lot of people these days are looking for the imperfect stuff. Right. Me being one of them. That's beautiful. An electric wood carver opens the cracks up before they're filled with epoxy. Then the rough edges are cut off and the mesquite lumber is sanded back till it's silky smooth. The Snow Sisters' custom windows have cost them nearly three grand. But now the windows are in, the interior can be drywalled. The wall between the second bedroom and the playroom is made up from shelving at each end. And in the middle, more shelves mounted on hinges to become Donna's secret passage. The outside's being painted a fresh and bright yellow. On the inside walls, Tony selected a soft green color and bright white for the kitchen cabinets. Reusing the old cabinets is saving the sisters over $2,000. The sisters have decided to replace the old vinyl floor with laminate boards. Yeah, look at that. And it's Tony who's picked the color. What, what are you working on? I'm looking at the pieces for the floor. That's kind of light. I think it'd look better if it's a little bit darker in here. It's a big room. You could take it. I don't think so. Well, I think so. I have a vote. You need to come and follow me and look. And I'll tell you why I don't think so. You know what they say, Tony. When you're the oldest, you're smarter, you're older, you have more insurance. And I know what I'm talking about here. We need to go a little bit darker in this room, in no. this whole house. And this is why. That's kind of light. We need to go a little bit darker in this room, no. in this whole house. And this is why. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of flooring. Yes, it is. We've got a lot of flooring to do. And when I went and picked this out, I thought it'd be perfect. But if you want it darker, you're going to have to load all that up, take it back and get what you want, and then bring it back here ready for us to work on. You know, I love what you picked out. Do so. I do. I do. I do. You so. like that? I think it's going to look great through this house because I dang sure don't want to haul all that back. Didn't think you'd want to. Casey and Katrina's house is getting close to being finished. But the bathroom still needs work. What are you doing? Measuring out where I'm going to build a vanity in here. Oh, the custom vanity. Right. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking butcher block for top. Oh, that would be great. Just open concept, a couple of shelves, kind of simple but still custom. That's great. So I have tile. Shower. This is the shower surround. But the coolest part about this is we're going to put it on a herringbone leg. The herringbone tiles will draw the eye to the end of the bathroom to create a sense of space. <laughs> Meanwhile, Casey's butcher block vanity will have open shelves, which will also make the small bathroom feel bigger. Donna and Tony need to replace the marble countertop that was dropped and smashed. We need something to go in a bathroom vanity, but really small. It's not very big. Actually, I got a small piece that's really cool looking. It's cool. identical to this stuff right here that we got for our demo. Oh. It's a beautiful green. That's pretty. I like that color. That will match the colors. So. We just need a small piece, so that means yeah. a small piece, a small price. Oh, oh yeah. All this for you guys. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's what we like to hear. But That'd be great. We need to find yeah. something for our bar area to kind of complement this what's already existing you any know, thoughts i have a piece of quartz that would probably be a good complement it's good hard material okay. so uh let me run out back and grab you got a piece. small piece we can look at yeah oh i like it i really do too i like it because it's, it looks like it's got variation of mm -hmm. light to dark yeah and it's got this dark that'll pick up mm -hmm. that'll work back at the house the tiles are going up in the bathroom Rectangular tiles placed vertically make the shower surround feel taller. In the kitchen, the backsplash is made from travertine-style tiles. The rough texture will set off the smoothness of the marble countertops the sisters managed to save. And the new quartz breakfast bar. That really complements our existing countertops. It sure does. With the house so close to being finished, there's one person the sisters would love to impress. Their daddy, H.D. Snow. Hello. Hey, hey daddy. Come in, come in. Come in this house. The girl's good. We're doing a little cleanup. Looks real nice. We're going to show you what all we got done. All right. You are going to be so impressed. It really looks great. 
look at our countertop in the bathroom. Gosh, that don't make somebody happy. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. Look how well it goes with our colors. Yeah. This, this is nice. library. No, sir, it's yeah. like a, a children's room, kind of like yeah. a kid's room where they put their books and school books and stuff like that. Oh, it's nice. It's big enough. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, out there in the living room, there's a five-gallon bucket of paint, mm -hmm. and there's a small box on there, and it's the pools we're going to put on here. We want to show them to we you. We want to show them to you. Would you go get them and bring them back, All please? Right. I'll get it. All right, girls, here's your doorknobs. Hey, where'd they go now? Sounds like it wasn't they started dating. It's all the way disappearing. Whoop, whoop, Surprise! Whoop. Yeah, we do this. <laughs> Up to that. Well, no. We got real creative. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do something a little bit different. Let's go around. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd had that your mother and I first got married. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's neat. Now the secret door's been finished. The floors can go down throughout the whole house. Tony chose the same color flooring in every room to create a flow between all the rooms. Auction day is getting close, so in come the big ticket items. Heating and air conditioning will add thousands of dollars to the value of the house. Adding even more appeal are brand new appliances for the kitchen. And staging furniture in every room to turn the house into a home. Plants around the outside make the home feel inviting. And a thorough check by the safety inspector makes the inside of the house as safe as can be. Finally, it's Donna and Tony's turn to add their finishing touches. I think this room turned out so cute. This turned out even better than what I had anticipated. And with this little secret door passage, it's going to be awesome for kids. Can't beat it. All right. You ready? We're done? I think we're done. We're ready for auction. When I walked up to the house, I just felt really happy. The yellow color caught me immediately. Don and Tony had to spend big on the outside of the house. New siding around the old garage, new custom windows, a new roof, and painting all around came to $7,200. The size is wonderful. It, it's huge. It's very nice. Wood floors. The interior needed new wiring, new drywall, new flooring, and a coat of paint throughout for a total of $6,800, plus another $4,500 for the heating and air conditioning system. When I saw the countertops, it was incredible. The space was beautiful. And then to have the little raised up bar area, perfect. The sisters saved thousands by reusing the old cabinets, sink, faucet, and countertops. The new breakfast bar cost $1,100. And with the painting and backsplash, the kitchen came to just $1,700. Turning the converted garage into a dining room meant pulling down a wall and building a new floor for a total of $1,600. This granite is beautiful. I love how they put this particular size in here. It's absolutely perfect for the bathroom. Oh, I know, and the tile back here and the big tub. I can't believe there's a tub in here. Smashing the original marble countertop was an expensive mistake. Replacing it cost nearly a thousand bucks, but at least the sisters could reuse the tub, toilet, and faucet. All up, the bathroom cost Donna and Tony $2,200. The master bedroom was an easy fix. Drywall, flooring, and paint coming to $1,200. We really had in mind of it like a children's room in here, but that's not what's really special about this room. Wow, look at that. Wow. A secret passage to the playroom. Like a, like a kid again. Yeah. I like that. Love it. The second bedroom with its secret door to the playroom packs a punch for not too much money. All up, the two rooms came to just under 1800 bucks. Donna and Tony snapped up the house for just over 900 bucks. The 150-mile move was expensive, a hefty $7,600. The remodel then stung the sisters to the tune of more than 36000 bucks. So they need at least 45000 at auction before they're in the black. Let's talk about the money. You know, I got to talk about money. Yes. What are y'all thinking? 55 would be really nice. 55,000, so that's your dream price, right? Oh, that would be a sweet spot. There is so many interested people. If, if this thing doesn't bring what we're wanting, they ain't a count in Texas. We got a good crowd here today. 
We got a lot of registrations. We got people with the numbers, and if they got numbers, they got money. That's yeah. right. That's what we want to hear. All right. Auction time, auction time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's auction time. I'm going to start the bidding off today at $17,500. Is there someone with to pay that right there? Ma'am, I knew you would. I could see it in your eyes. Seventeen five. Who would pay $20,000? And let's go. Hey, $20,000. Bid it now. $22,500. $22,500. Now, $25,000. Hey, $25,500. Now, $27,500. 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 She likes it. 57, 57 down and I'm gonna bid the bomb bomb to 57. Sir, let her bid one more time. I think she'd like it when she gets inside. Hey, 57 down, no. 57. He's done. I, I think he's done. You say no, and I say so, so, so. $56,000. So $56,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, congratulations. Hey, Thank you. Oh, it's a wonderful Okay, we got to know. What put it over the top that kept you bidding against that other couple? Well, it was that the kids' room. Yes. yes. The open floor plan. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to get our granddaughter here. All right. Oh, cool. Well, let us not hold you up. Go enjoy. Thank you. Right. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thanks so much. we got to try this again right. from this side. Right. Hey. Looking at Ooh, it even sounds cool. mysterious. We are so excited. We can't wait to entertain. It's going to be great. Casey and Katrina's house isn't far from being auctioned. With the laminate flooring going down in the kitchen, the house is ready to have its heating and air conditioning installed. The Mesquite breakfast bar is delivered just in time. And so is the staging furniture to give the house the lived in look. On the outside, plants will give the house even more curb appeal. Then, once the inspector has made sure the wiring and plumbing is all up to code, Katrina and Casey can get to work on the finishing touches. With the finishing touches done and then redone, it's time to open the doors to the potential buyers. How do you like the color? I like the two different tones in the color. Casey and Katrina's house needed new siding where they'd cut the house in two and new double front doors. All up, including the paint, the exterior came to $3,200. When I first walked in, I noticed how spacious it was. Knocking down a wall to create the living area cost next to nothing. But new heating and air conditioning, laminate floors, drywall and paint sucked up the cash, costing a total of 6,900 bucks. This vanity is awesome. It really is the perfect size for this bathroom. Casey's vanity costs just 150 bucks in materials. But new tiles, tub, toilet, sink and faucet brought the cost of the bathroom up to 2250. That breakfast bar? I loved it, loved it, loved it. The little details in it just really made everything pop. The Mesquite countertop cost Casey and Katrina $1,300. Add the new cabinets, backsplash, countertop and tiles, and the kitchen came in at a little over $3,000. The bedroom didn't take much. Drywall, paint, and flooring added $1,100 to the bottom line. Casey and Katrina bought the house for just $700, but cutting the house in two and moving it wasn't cheap at over five grand. With remodeling costs coming to over twenty-three thousand, they need to sell the house for at least thirty grand to make a profit. Mr. Meyer, how y'all doing today? Wonderful. How yeah. are you, sir? I'm doing good. Yeah. What do we got to do on this one? Go we ahead. Be around the forty thousand dollar range. Forty thousand. Don't make any money at that. We will. Yeah, we'll make some money. Hey, let's sell a house. Sounds okay. great. Well, let's That's do it. Plan. <sighs> you ready? Oh, whoa, 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 wait. One thing I forgot. I believe I almost forgot this. What's he up to? I have no idea. Okay. <sighs> you ready? Oh, whoa, 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 wait. One thing I forgot. I believe I almost forgot this. What's he up to? I have no idea. Really? It's my lucky cowboy hat. I have made lots of You're money right. under this hat. Okay, I'll take it. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Auction time, auction time. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to have an auction? Yeah! 
My name is Byron Jackson, and I am the auctioneer. Now, I know it's hotter than Texas barbecue out here, but we're going to sell this house right behind me. I guarantee you that right here today. All you got to do is have your bid card, so I'm going to start asking you for $15,000. Who'll be the first one to put their card in the air right there? Fifteen, now seventeen and a half. Fifteen, seventeen and a half, twenty thousand dollars now. Twenty thousand dollars with a bid, buy, buy, twenty thousand dollars bid now. Twenty two and a half, five, seven and a half, five now, seven and a half. Jumping up, right out the gate. Thirty-two and a half with a bid, buy, 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 thirty-two and a half and a thirty-five. I'll take thirty-six thousand dollars. Thirty-six and a thirty-seven thousand dollars. Half thirty-eight, thirty-eight thousand. Half thirty-nine, where would a bid buy thirty-nine now? Forty-five, forty, forty thousand dollars now. Forty-one, one, 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 forty-one, forty-one now. Forty-two thousand. Forty-one, five, forty-one, five now. Forty-two, you can be forty-two, sir. Forty-two thousand. Forty-two, forty-two, forty-two. Is that your judgment? Anybody else? We're going to sell it. Hammers out. And you say no, and I say so, so, no. $41,500. So, $41,500. Congratulations. Thank you. Marianne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a beauty. Y'all get in there and enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. This is amazing. We're really excited to set the house down and get started on the property and living there and hopefully building a family. Casey and Katrina spent just under thirty grand on their house. With a sale price of over 41000 it leaves them with a profit of just just over 12 grand. The Snow Sisters had to spend way more than they wanted to on their house, close to 45,000 bucks. A sale price of 56 grand left them with a profit of over $11,000. But in a photo finish for the bragging rights, the sisters were beaten by Casey and Katrina by just $125. Congratulations are in order. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the suspense is killing us. Show oh, us. Come on, come on. Oh, Why don't you see the breakfast bar in there? The breakfast bar? It's right. custom. Ah, custom, huh? Oh, my God. Oh, look at this.